Good afternoon from Animal Kingdom, where we're here for the first time since it has reopened to the public. I'm getting here around 3 p.m. The park closes at 6. You might be wondering why you're doing that. Well, the reason being is I'm curious as to how much I can go on after 3 p.m. Uh, what we've noticed is that there has been a trend where things have been uh, very slow in the parks after 3 p.m up until close, so I'm gonna put it to the test today and see how much we can get done after 3 p.m. So let's go have a wild time at Animal Kingdom. And I'm inviting you to tag along. Let's go. So check out the new entrance. You'll see security is way back there now, which opens up the main entrance of Animal Kingdom significantly. It's also incredibly empty here. But we're gonna see more of that because it is after 3 p.m. So that security check might be my new favorite security check on Disney property. All I had to do is hold my camera out forward, walk through, there was no handling in my bags. Incredibly easy. Uh, pretty, pretty sophisticated. I kind of want that to be rolled out to all the resorts. Hopefully that'll happen soon. So here we are walking through the Oasis where it is very easy to social distance. Keep in mind, however, we are here at 3 p.m. I know it's busier during the first few hours of park opening. Um, we're here for the final three hours of the park because we're going to test out how many rides we can go on and what is the overall experience once most of the people have left. It's very easy to hit up all your rides and everything and be gone within the first few hours when uh, there's virtually no waits. Well, here is... Oh, it's such a beautiful sight. The Tree of Life and a very empty esplanade. So you'll see that Island Mercantile is closed and there's an A-frame sign telling people to go to Discovery Trading to get some merchandise. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Discovery Trading Company to see if there's anything new for the park. So they have these Together Again shirts, limited time. This one's a gray shirt for $26.99. It's got Mickey on it. And they have it in pink, but this one is with the castle on it. This is together again for $36.99. All right, I got us the shirts. Jenna's been wanting this, and I've been wanting the gray one. So now we have secured the shirts. You will be seeing us wear these soon. Check this out, they've got a limited edition case with some limited edition magic bands. I'm not too sure what the price of these are. I'll have to look into that. You got Graduation, Earth Day, Mulan, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all the holidays that they were closed for. And they've got some pins, and then they've even got annual pass holder merchandise. Check out the uh, pop socket. <laughs> That's kind of fun. They have the Tree of Life in an otter box for $29.99 in the year 2020, so you can remember this year. And they even have the nighttime version. That is cool. Even an artwork. Oh, check this out. And they got Expedition Everest. How fun. And here they have the new pin trading bags. You got the Mickey one with like a denim look to it for $39.99. So $39.99. This one is the Mickey for $49.99. And it's got the pages in the middle there. I heard about these. This is my first time seeing them though. And it looks like they've got some new arrival magic bands. It looks like Mickey on vacation. And you got the unicorn. Marvel, Iron Man, Mickey Paint Splatter, Mulan. 
Timon and Pumbaa. Squirt. Pinocchio. Looks like Gus from Cinderella. Oh, that's a cool one. Fantasia. So it looks like all these on this top shelf, minus the limited release. Those are what they call amethyst. And amethyst is $29.99, but everything else on this top shelf is what they call bronze for $24.99. They got some other ones down at the bottom there, solid colors. I believe those are what they call coral, and those are $14.99. But I like the way they're merchandising them now, so you can see both sides, whereas before they used to be coiled up like that. I really like this Walt Disney World Mickey shirt. Mickey's not often in this pose. He's usually in that pose. That one's $26.99. All right, I think it's time for us to go into Pandora and check out the crowd levels there. I feel like if there's any place it's gonna be busy, it's gonna be there. So I can't say that I've ever walked this bridge into Pandora and have not seen anybody. Oh, wait, there's people. But you get what I'm saying. It's, this is really empty. It looks like they got social distancing markers more than likely either for flight of passage or to just get into the land it's probably for flight of passage because it goes quite a ways so this is normally the interactive plant that you can pet however there is no petting today I don't know if I ever pointed this out to you guys before but off to the right right before you go to the floating mountains you'll actually see buried in the woods covered in moss one of the twin jets or twin helicopters crashed. It blends in so well. Definitely a sight to behold. They actually look bigger since I haven't seen them in so long. But I know the mountains didn't grow. Wow. And it's just virtually empty. As I'm walking, I'm becoming more and more confident that these social distancing markers are for flight of passage. And they go all the way back there and loop back around to the retraction over there. Just past the floating mountains and on your way to Pongu Pongu and Wind Traders, this is typically one of the busiest areas of the land. Virtually empty. And it looks like Satuli Canteen is open. However, you do need to place a mobile order, just like we've seen at all the other quick service. Mobile order only. And Flight of Passage at a five minute wait. You know, you know I'm gonna have to ride this now. I, I can't pass this up. It's never been that low. Five minute wait for Flight of Passage. I've never seen it that low. So, well, we'll see. It look, <laughs> I'm assuming this is pretty much walk on. Plenty of physical distancing markers. But the good news, none of them are being used right now. <laughs> I can't get over the crowd levels here. So here we are in the Flight of Passage queue. You'll see they've got the plexiglass that we've seen on a lot of the attractions. Usually used when switchbacks come too close together to maintain proper social distance. You'll see the plexiglass there on the left. I wonder how this next room is. Let's check it out. The laboratory. Nah, it's pretty much the same. Nothing too different. You'll see a lot of the plexiglass they're using in the loading area. It's quite altered, that's for sure. So there are a few points in my life at Disney that I will always remember. Back there was one of them. It was just me and one other person in an auditorium that usually seats 48. I, I'm speechless. I've never had that much of an intimate experience before on an attraction. I, if it wasn't for that one other person, I would have been all by myself in the entire auditorium. It, it was nuts. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. So to paint the picture of what I've been talking about, it's dead. This is usually a hustle and bustle exit. Wow, that was surreal. Okay, we're gonna go into the recently reopened Wind Traders and see if there's anything new there. Oh no, they have new wishables and it looks like it's the Avatar characters. <laughs> but it does say, please see cast member for assistance. Obviously because it's a very tactile 
toy. Having to feel for what you want. That's a pretty fun hoodie. It says Pandora, the world of Avatar with the various things that you can do in the land for $34.99. It's not bad. And here they have a shirt that says, I've been genetically matched for $24.99. So now we are headed for Navi River Journey, as it is also a five minute wait walk on attraction. So far, so good. Getting the big rides out of the way. Well, there's my ride all to myself. Here I go in a boat all by myself. I things that has been temporarily shut down throughout this whole ordeal are these drums that say please do not touch. Kids used to bang on these and there used to be live music here but uh, we're not trying to encourage gatherings right now so they have been temporarily disbanded. So it's about 4 30 now. I spent a lot of time in the shops which I kind of regret but well, I can't help myself sometimes. So we got plenty of time to do what we want to do, like safaris. But I think, I think I'm gonna go check out something that I've been wanting to show you guys. So we're gonna say goodbye to Pandora for now because we're heading this way to go to Kilimanjaro safaris. So I did check the weather and there is a nasty storm that's brewing behind me. Hopefully it misses us. I. Ah, I've come to learn that in Florida, it just, it rains when it wants to. So I don't have an umbrella today, but water didn't kill anybody, right? Maybe. So I want you to see if you can hear me over all the bugs. I want you to see all the social distancing markers that they have out. They go this way, all the way down to Africa, and then come back all the way back to Pandora. This is more than likely the queue, or the extended queue, or I should say the social distanced queue for Flight of Passage. Luckily, we didn't have to use any of it today as it was a walk-on attraction. Thought I'd never say that in my life. So Animal Kingdom does have their version or rendition of the character Cavalcade, which are on boats, and they travel along that river behind me. However, with the storm coming and the rain picking up, I don't think they're going to be doing it right now. As long as there's severe weather in the area, they don't want to be on boats. And I don't blame Mickey at all for not being on a boat. Hey, lightning storm. So I stopped here at the Africa bathrooms because A, it's raining, but also I want you to see how few people are here. It's so surreal. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. There's not anybody here. You got a cast member over there, but that's it. There's no one here right now. I know that's been thrown around a lot at Disney, but I'm almost positive I'm one of maybe a few hundred people in the park right now. So we're going to step into the Mombasa Marketplace to get out of the rain and check out some of the new merch. Looks like this Animal Kingdom gray t-shirt runs for $24.99. So it looks like for $54.99 you can get that zip up hoodie. It's got the neat like wooden pattern on the sleeves. And on the back, the tree of life. And we got this Animal Kingdom hat, trucker hat. Looks, looks like this Animal Kingdom trucker hat is new with a cork bill for $27.99. So you can complete your ensemble of Animal Kingdom merchandise right here. So I'm sitting outside of the Mombasa Marketplace because the rain is still coming down. 
I'm beginning to think it's not going to end before the park closes. The park closes in 55 minutes. It's 5.05 now. It closes at 6. And it's just kind of a steady rain. It's lightening up. It's not as much as it was earlier when I was under the bridge. But I'm beginning to think that I don't know if any of the attractions, are, or at least the outdoor attractions, are going to be running in this environment. So um, I might end up heading back over to the front of the park. Um, it's kind of a bummer because we were on a really good clip there for a while. Um, kind of Mother Nature dictates a lot of things here in Florida. So I uh, might dip out of here soon and head over to the front of the park. And uh, hopefully it'll lighten up by then. But it's starting to look like it's going to be a washout here this evening. Which might be why it was so empty. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like most of the people have left for the day because it's about 30 minutes till park close but i think i'm gonna stick around and i'm gonna try one more ride before it closes that's dinosaur we've got enough time for that so here it is at 5 30 heading into an empty dino bash now, this is a little eerie seeing an empty theme park on our way to dinosaur which is a five minute wait off in the horizon we'll get a closer look see right there dinosaur is at a five minute wait let's go catch that dino okay looks like we made it with about 25 minutes to spare so let's go catch the dino and then call it a day so you'll see that they do not have a pre-show it looks like you just go right on in Although they do have the social distancing marker, so maybe they do, and I just caught the tail end of it. I don't know. A very empty research facility. Let's see what it looks like around this corner. Oh. Yep. It looks like I'll be getting my own ride vehicle. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go catch that dino. This is serious. Oh. I've got a car almost to myself. One other person. Oh, in the big toaster oven. head out the rain's just now ending but I think it's time to head out we still have 15 minutes till park close but I think I think I've gotten rained on enough today as I was walking out I happened to notice that this crocodile was moving it's pretty awesome I've never seen him actually move before and of course now that I'm watching him he stops pretty cool well welcome back to my car where we are about to leave because the rain never let up. So the park is closed. Um, we actually did quite a bit considering the time we got here and the time it started raining. Not quite a fair assessment of what I can accomplish in a three hour time span during this time. Um, so we'll have to come back and do it another time. We still didn't get to ride Expedition Everest, still didn't get to ride the, the new modified safari vehicles and uh, tough to be a bug. A majority of the stores were actually still closed and uh, I didn't get a chance to eat anything in the park. So um, we'll definitely have to come back another time. Um, otherwise, it was actually a pretty fun day. Um, but if you liked that video, be sure to like the video directly above my head. That is the time we went to Magic Kingdom's reopening. And that video over there is a video that YouTube recommends specifically for you. If you want to join us on more adventures, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to become a super subscriber to the Tourist Trek. Until next time, see you real soon.